It was the first time playing it ever, you know, of this model. this because it's so supportive you know yeah I really like the comfort of it Now, did you make just one of the rad EVIs or EUEs? It was just the one for Brecker? I think so. I can't remember for absolute sure, but I think so. I made a, I think it was just a the rad one. EVI too. Right. I remember playing that years ago just before you sent it out, and I forget okay. who has it or who you made it for. But I believe I just made Brecker's. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. I made that first for him, and then I made a traditional. EWI for him later, sent it to him just so we could see which one he likes the most. Mm -hmm. But I think by that time he was really into the the red yeah. EWI, and and so he always played that. And I don't even think we have any pictures of him playing the the traditional one. The traditional one he probably would have liked that also, but. Mm -hmm. uh, but for many years, I always figured, you know, you really don't have to have your hands like that. I'd pick up a book and I'd, I'd think, gee, this ought to, yeah, I ought to try making an instrument like this sometime, you know. So I finally got around to it with the rad. Well, and right now, Brecker's uh, rad, Iwi, um, it's at a museum. Yeah. And Dan Willis helps kind of curate and take care of those things and so yeah he he plays that occasionally and has it around and yeah and he's pretty amazing he's quite a player
Uh, hey, Niall, it's Michael Brecker. Um, just checking in. And uh, just an up, uh, update, uh, I love this thing. I'm completely in love with it. Um, I think you did a marvelous job. It's playing really well. <laughs> so um, give me a shout when you have a chance or, or, or drop me an email. Um, so I hope you're fine, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen one of these other than seeing a picture of it. So it's, uh, it's reasonably close to the, to the rad that I built for Michael Brecker. It's the same concept. The handles have that stability. You don't have to use a neck strap, really. Some may prefer to use a neck strap. But it it feels balanced well, and uh, the mouthpiece. Uh, of course, I'm not a woodwind player, but when I play a normal EWI, I have to use a neck strap. But this, even though I'm using the EVI fingering, I don't feel like I need the neck strap at all. If I was using the EWI fingering, which I don't do much of. I still wouldn't need the, the neck strap, so that's a nice, nice thing to have. You know, you could keep this in the bedroom, and people would think it was something for your shoes. <laughs> I just realized these are two buttons here too, aren't yeah. they? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>